Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing a wedding uh, yet again, and we got another pretty, pretty ball of setup to be using tonight. We're going to be using totems, we'll be using uplights, it's going to be fun, it's going to be awesome. But, in the office right now, in the office as always, uh, I got HoneyBook loaded up, I got Vibo loaded up, I'm just verifying some planning information, also got YouTube playing, watching some videos. Uh, I'm on my uh, music pool, direct music service. That's that's my favorite music pool, direct music service. Just going through some of the latest uh, songs that have been posted on direct music and downloading what all I think uh, I might want to use. And uh, organizing my crates and stuff, getting everything organized for tonight's wedding. Lots of songs. They put in like 300 plus requests for all of the music for the wedding. But yeah, let me show you guys uh, this uh, new little thing that just came in. It's pretty dope. It goes on my laptop. It's right here. This is my new uh, my new sticker right here. But it's not just a sticker. It also lights up. So this is uh, mode one. It's like sound active mode. You can adjust the sound active on this little box right here. Uh, you got like a little few different modes here. I'm probably just going to use it in this mode. All on. Then you can make it flash too. But I'm probably just going to use it in solid on. That one. Yeah, this is literally just a sticker. It sticks right on. It's no nothing big, nothing bulky. It just sticks right onto the laptop itself. And then you just plug it in right here. So you unplug this, and then uh, there's this long ribbon cable. I got the extender on it, and it goes to this little battery box right here that has your function button as well as your adjustment for the sound active. And then on the other side, you got your switch to turn it on and off. And also, there's the power port right there. That's how you actually charge it. And they give you a USB cable, so you can plug this right into your laptop and run constant power to it if you want uh... but you can also charge it up and run it on battery as well this is made by a company called uh... sticker light I'll, I'll link them down in the description down below All right, guys, so I was watching uh, Barr's recent gig log, which I don't know, by the time you guys watch this, he probably posted another one, but he just got his new trailer in that gig log, which is similar to, like, this size trailer, and then you got mine. Mine's a really big trailer because we do production stuff and that, but I wanted to point out some things that I've done for my trailer that I haven't really shown you guys that, like, make my life so much easier, and the first thing is this electric jack. So this right here is a direct bolt-on electric jack to replace uh, that little like crank thing. One thing, I was getting so tired of cranking that thing at the end of the night when I'm tired and I just want to go home. So this right here is an electric jack. It only costs like a hundred bucks. I'll link it in the description down below obviously, but um, there's this little slip cover that comes off of it. It's called a uh, Jack Quick. So you can hardwire this into like a battery in that. I haven't got to that point yet just because I haven't had time. But this plugs directly into your trailer plug on the back of your truck or your car. So you plug this in right here. Now, two things. One, it's got an LED light here so that it can like illuminate what you're doing down here. And then two, you got up and down and you also have a uh, level indicator up here so you can tell if your trailer's level or not. But so if I want to go down, all I do is just push the trigger down and it goes down. If I want to go up, I just push the trigger up and the trailer goes up. Very simple. It is kind of slow, but it's literally about the same pace as if you crank it. Uh, I love it. It makes my life so much easier to just be back here, just push the button and let it go down. I've also had no trouble with a fully loaded trailer using this jacket. It has plenty of power to lift it up. And this is a six by 12 dual axle, kind of a bigger trailer. You can load up a lot of weight in this thing. But yeah, electric jack makes my life so much easier. Like it's so worth hundred bucks, like so worth hundred bucks. Also one other thing, when I first got this trailer, uh, some of you guys pointed out a huge flaw that I was doing because I didn't know I've never had a trailer. You're supposed to cross your chains. When you take your chains from your trailer to your, to your hitch, you, you need to cross them. That's apparently what you're supposed to do legally. You're supposed to cross them. That way when this tri when this drops, the chains catch it. Versus if they're on either side, your trailer just smacks it to the ground. You're, you're, you're screwed. But yeah, cross your chains. A couple little side things there. The jack gets its power from the lights being on. So for that to work, you have to have your headlights on on your truck so that way it has power to work. That's one thing a lot of people on like Amazon in the review section, they said it doesn't work. It's because they didn't turn on their lights. Hold the phone. I need to interrupt the video real quick, guys, to tell you guys about DJ Life Clothing, the first ever drop of the official DJ Life Clothing designed by me, created for DJs, by DJs. 
It allows you basically to rep that you're a DJ out in public and it's in some nice cool designs. Uh, we got this hoodie right here. It's super soft, super comfy. I love it. You got the first to arrive, last to leave, and kind of like a Star Wars font. It also comes in black, obviously. You got the I Hate Teardown. This is like a gray and black, kind of like a low-key look. And then, yet again, we also have it in the black on white. And the last shirt here, this is my favorite. You got the clean DJ Life logo on the front. And then on the back, you got the logo and Eat Sleep DJ Repeat. I've literally been working on this clothing line now for over a year, sourcing shirts, making sure this is the highest quality. I'm getting these printed literally just down the road at a local shop to make sure we get the quality down and it's 100% like solid. So if you guys want to help support me and support the channel, this is a great way to do it. Uh, ShopDJLife.com. You guys can go browse the whole site, check out all the shirts, order them. I have them in a variety of sizes back behind me here, uh, all the way from smalls up to 4XL in just about everything. And just as a bonus, everyone that orders something, I'm throwing in this sweet little... Uh, uh, sticker pack I created you got the DJ life uh, logo itself you got this sticker it says I play music you dance that simple DJ share te with an explanation point and requests are just requests these are actually like decal stickers they're pretty high quality so you can throw these on practically anything your car your laptop your flight cases and on a last note here guys these are the drop one designs that I just showed you, and when these sell out, they're not coming back. Drop number two will be made up of completely different designs, including a different design on the DJ Life logo, um, and the goal is to just create kind of like a designer clothing brand. But anyways, guys, check it out, shopdjlifeclothing.com. But anyways, guys, trying to film a little bit more today, show you guys a little bit more of the behind the scenes of what all goes on leading up to a wedding the day of. I will say this is a little bit different than what we're normally used to because normally we're able to go set up at the venue early. Today though, there is a wedding going on in the same reception space before our wedding. So literally, we can't get in until 4.30. Obviously, we're gonna show up at four and try and get in a little bit early. But we can't show up until 4.30 and the ceremony starts sharp at six o'clock. So it's gonna be rough. So because of that, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of setup tutorials. It might just be a time lapse. It's probably going to be just a time lapse. It's gonna be very fast paced. We're only doing cocktail hour for half an hour to speed things up to get dinner started at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, which is a little bit on the later end. But on the note of trailers, let me show you guys what I've done to the inside of the trailer to make my life a little bit easier and talk about some of the other stuff that I'm doing to my trailer. First off, if you're gonna get a trailer, get a ramp it's so much nicer to be able to roll things in and out second off if you get a ramp trailer you need to buy one of these transition pieces so that way you're not popping it through this giant gap secondly e-track everything so if you guys saw the original video where I did the first bit of e-track now I have e-track everywhere e-track is awesome because you can take these ratcheting clamps and you just you just you just pop them right Retake, you just pop them right in and they lock in. You also can get these single ones, like I put these single ones up here for these giant hooks. That way we can put like pipe and drape poles up there. And then I also got some D-rings up here that we can just attach some other points to. So but tie down points everywhere. So the last things that I want to do to this trailer, I, I don't really want to paint the walls. I, I kind of like it the way it is just with the wood. I do want to do something with this floor though. So I don't know if I'm going to do bed liner, if I'm going to do enamel painting, or if I'm going to get some sort of vinyl the place on the floor. But I want to do something. As you guys can see, the floor is already getting kind of beat up. And uh, I really want to get something on that to protect it a little better than what uh, the raw wood's doing. But that is a little bit behind the scenes of my trailer. My trailer already came with like LEDs everywhere. No need to do anything there. But if you have a trailer and you have a ramp, what you need to do is put every last thing you got on wheels. So we have two base plates and two uh, totems here on a nice wheelie cart right here. I've talked about this in the last episode as well. Rock and roller carts, obviously great for wheels. We got a caster plate there for all of our speakers, which are the two subs the two turbo sound tops and our two sub poles got an empty bag that's for something else movers in cases wireless mic rack etc everything is on wheels to make load in easy as possible which is really going to play into setting up as quick as possible as well also have not shown it in a video yet but i got it 
the JBL Eon One Compact. Literally pre-ordered it, and it's here. We're gonna be rocking it today as a side fill speaker. There's some uh, lumber legs and some lumber pieces right here. I may be building something. I'm gonna leave it at that. I may be building something for uh, DJ related stuff. Stay tuned. But enjoy this time lapse as me and Drake uh, load everything. Oh my God, it's so bright. Exposure, exposure. We're gonna load everything up. And that right there is the beauty of having everything on wheels. You have one, two, three, four, five loads and everything is inside the venue. Need to do this and done. Like this is a locking power cable. So if you see me tug on it, that's not coming out. Which is crucial because that is literally like seven feet in the air. We are running things quickly, but things are running smoothly. Stay tuned. They're drinking a lot of liquor. That means good party. Excuse me, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, here momentarily here in the next probably two to five minutes. We're gonna be doing our grand introductions where our, we're gonna be welcoming in our parents once again and our wedding party. All right, all right. So first off, once again, I wanna welcome everyone to Jennifer and Doug's wedding reception. Can someone please make some noise for our newlyweds out there, make some noise. So without further ado, we have some very, very important people waiting just outside the wedding reception. And we're gonna be introducing them in right now, right now. We're gonna get things started off here with Jennifer's parents. So DJ, if you could drop that tune for me, drop it. Then we're gonna please make some noise for Jennifer's parents. That is Glenn and Ava McDaniel. Okay, let's keep them hands going real quick. Let's welcome in Doug's parents, Douglas Sr. and Pam Bricker. We're going to transition over real quick. We're going to welcome in our ring bearers now. DJ, change up the track real quick, real quick here. Make some noise real quick for Chloe Fricker and Abigail Fricker. All right, we got some very important people, and that would be our wedding party. Let's kick things off here with Jordan Fricker and Richard Payne. Make some big noise here for Ashley Drew and Todd McDaniel. I want to hear some screams, I want to hear some shouts as we welcome in our Matron of Honor, Amber Glover. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we welcome in our parents, we welcome in our wedding party. If I could ask for everyone to please kindly rise from your seats if you can. I need you to get loud. I need you to scream, I need you to shout, put them hands together as this is my honor to introduce for the second time tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Fricker. What I'm going to do is asking some trivial questions about their relationship to see how well they know each other. So these, these questions can be answered either yes, our bride Jennifer, or yes, our groom Doug. So I'm going to start things off here by just making sure they understand what's going on. They're going to be raising the shoe of the important person to answer the question. So uh, to start things off here, who is sitting behind you? No, there you go. All right. 
All right, final question here. Who do you love the most in the whole entire world? Oh. Let's give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. That's the shoe you got Ladies and gentlemen, who's ready to party out there? Let's get this thing started here for Jennifer and Doug's wedding reception. Come on up to the dance floor, and it's time for the celebration of this evening.
hands up, 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 hands up,
It is 11.43, 43 minutes, everything in the trailer, done. It only took 26 minutes to break everything down. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we only had an hour to get out here, we had to be out here by midnight. We actually, after the 26 minutes we had all our stuff broke down, we were actually waiting on the catering company to get all their stuff out, like loaded out, so we were super, super quick. So, biggest tip for how we were able to get everything broken down in 26 minutes and then 43 minutes into the trailer. Uh, with all of this stuff that you guys saw us set up, including all the up lights, all that. One, two people, me and Drake, and both of us know what the heck we're doing for the most part. Two, we didn't wind up any cables. We didn't wrap any cables. We have a bag, that, that bag right there, and we just threw all the cables into that bag so we could get the heck out of here really quick. So, there's a tip for you guys on getting out quick if you're like really time crunched. Don't worry about wrapping your cables, just throw them all in a bag and then worry about it when you get back home. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't notice, this is a castle. This is the drawbridge, or what used to be the drawbridge, they made it just basically a bridge now. Down there is the water, the used to be moat. They got flaming torches, like actual flaming torches. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually a historic site. So I did a venue tour here and uh, Drake's really curious in terms of what all's here. So we're gonna go down to the dungeon. There's a, there's actually a legit, uh, dungeon layer actually they call it the Queen's Chamber so yeah Here you guys go it's a cool dope dope venue hopefully we get recommended yo yo what's up it's the next uh, morning I'm gonna be unloading the trailer and um, that was actually my last wedding of the 2019 season and I got some things to talk about and the first thing I want to talk about are these right here, the TurboSound IP300s, you guys saw them in the last gig vlog, my new tops that I'm running with the JBL PureX 715 XLF subs. But anyways guys, it was a super fun last wedding of 2019, unless I get the last minute booking here, uh, but that was the last wedding for me in 2019, I had a blast. They had a blast, they partied, they had so much fun. I had so much fun mixing a lot of the hip hop and rap, it was it was fun. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave down in the comments section down below, what, what speaker systems are you guys using? Are you guys using some sort of speaker system like this, like the Evolve 12s, the RCF? But anyways, leave down in the comments section down below what speaker systems you guys are rocking, and maybe I'll look into one of them. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. We'll be doing a lot of tips and tutorial videos in December here on both monograms, that one's probably already up, and on string bulb lighting and some other stuff that you guys wanted to know, as well as lighting video number three, programming in Chave Show Express, that video is coming. But yeah guys, signing off from the garage down here, my name is DJ Rick Webb. As always, keep the America spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.